some of the other issues they're facing today is uh, how to address flexibility not only in the classroom but in these in-between areas which can be in the library in the student union um, uh, in the student learning center and then how do you accommodate students before and after class so hallways are not just a way to get from point a to point b it's a significant social interaction space where a lot of the learning the informal learning that occurs on campus happens we have an observation of a student kneeling in a hallway Right? It's all cinder blocks and a hard floor, and he's right next to the classroom that he next is going to enter. And on the floor in front of him, he's spread out three huge drawings, and he's working on these drawings. Now, again, from a facility standpoint, he's a fire hazard. Um, but from an 18-year-old's point of view, it's a great spot. Right? The adjacency is perfect for him. He wants to be right outside of the classroom. So we like to talk about that as an example of as certainly a workaround and also an instance where um, it might be worthwhile to start thinking about better ways to accommodate students just before and after class.